706 right now. We do want to shift our attention to the other crisis in the U.S. and the rest of the world is dealing with. We're talking about coronavirus. And when it comes to rebounding from COVID-19 and the pandemic, um, we want to give you an inside look about discussions that are happening behind the scenes rather than just tell you about decisions that are made after the fact. And that is what we're doing this morning when it comes to the plans to reopen our state's public universities. And that will happen this fall. Our Jessica Alpern had a one on one conversation with the chair of the Board of Governors, and she joins us live this morning from Florida Gulf Coast University with more Jessica. Yeah, Amy, so we know the plan is for public universities to reopen come fall, but the question now is how those are the conversations happening right now among campus leaders here at FGCU and at public universities across our state. Now you'll recall late last month, the board approved the state university system blueprints for reopening campuses. Right now, each university is going through the process of getting their individual plans approved by their board of trustees. Those will then be submitted to the board of governors on June 12th. Now I spoke one on one with the board chair who tells me that due to how different each university is in size, for example, a blanket reopening plan would just not work. So instead, those individualized plans are in the process and they're working out details like social distancing. I asked about the challenges that brings when we think about auditorium style classrooms. How do you sit down uh, in a classroom? Uh, staying six feet apart. So how many people can you actually put in, in, in that classroom? And then if you have a, a professor who is potentially uh, has uh, over 65 years of age or maybe has a compromised immune system, how do we keep that professor uh, safe. So those are just some of the details being worked out right now. Kitson says another focus is ensuring there's a plan in place to react quickly if something such as an outbreak or even just one case occurs. How we test, uh, we're, we're spending a lot of time on, on the protocols there and then contact tracing, which is so important. If in fact somebody is actually found to be positive, where do they go? And how are they isolated? And then, and even if they're isolated, they need to continue their studies and, and they need to eat. They need to do all those things for, for those 14 days that they would be quarantined. So he added that safety will, of course, come first, but they also want to make sure they're able to deliver a great academic experience when schools reopen this fall. And I can tell you that following each university submitting their plans to the board on June 12th, they're then going to head over to UCF, where they're going to officially present those plans to the board on June 23rd. Live at FGCU this morning, Jessica Alpern, Fox 4, in your corner.